everybody so this is the look I decided to create for you I really wanted to create something super glowy and dewy which I thought was perfect for spring and I added that lavender uh, Mac pigment that we used and a beautiful nude lip I thought this was perfect for Valentine's Day or for any day in spring and I apologize for my voice I am trying to get over a cold but I really wanted to get this video up for you because I love this look so much if you guys like this look please stay tuned hi everybody let's get started so I'm gonna start by priming my face with Garnier ultra lift transformer and I'm just gonna use a Mac 190 brush for this and I am just going to generously put this all over my face Next I'm going to take my Garnier Skin Renew and I'm in the color Medium Deep and I'm going to use the Lexi Lush Angled Top Buffer Brush and I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Next I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and this is in the color Light Medium. This is gonna go right underneath my eyes and start to kind of blend in any blemishes that I have or any other areas where I would like a little bit more coverage. And I'm gonna take that same Luxy Lush brush to blend this in. And any excess product that is left on my brush is just gonna go right on my eyelids and this is going to act as our primer. And next I'm gonna use what is left of my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder Foundation and I am in the color medium. And I'm just going to use a fluffy powder brush to put this all over my face and on my eyelids. Next, I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows, and I probably won't show this part because you probably have seen me do this a million times. And for my brows, I just used my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and I am in the color Ebony. And I just used a MAC 266 Small Angled Brush to fill them in. So I'm going to start by using Makeup Geek's Eyeshadow and Peach Smoothie, and I'm going to use a MAC 224 brush, and this is just going to go in my crease. Next, I'm going to take this color right here, which is Makeup Geek's Eyeshadow in Barcelona Beach. And I'm just going to use a MAC 217 brush to put this in my crease below Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. And I really want to concentrate this on the outer part of my lid and the inner part of my lid. Next, I am going to take Max Pigment in Kitchmas. You can now buy them in these cute little um, travel size bottles. They should sell them like this because you really don't need that much product. And I'm just gonna use a MAC 242 brush to put this right on my lid in the part where we didn't add any of the Barcelona Beach. You want to make sure you don't get this in the crease. And I am just going to smooth out the edges. I'm not going to add any more product. And then I'm going to go back in with Makeup Geeks Barcelona Beach and a more concentrated pointed brush. This is the Laura Mercier Eye Crease Brush. And I am just going to darken up again the edges and just blend in gently where we added that pigment, just so there are no harsh lines. And 
And then again, I'm just going to take Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and my Sigma E40 brush, and I am just going to blend out any harsh lines that we have. And I'm going to start blending this upwards towards my brow bone. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Barcelona Beach again and that same Sigma E40 brush. Get a little bit of the eyeshadow on the tip of my brush and start blending that color upwards again towards the brow bone. We just want to make our crease nice and smooth. And then I'm going to take MAC's Dazzle Light Eyeshadow and a clean MAC 224 brush. And you just want to add a little bit of this color right underneath your brow bone. And next I'm going to take my Maybelline Line Stiletto Liner and I am just going to create a cat eye. All right, and once that is done, you can clean up the wings with any concealer. The trick here is to not get too much concealer on your brush. All right, and to contour my cheeks, I am just going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Solier Matte Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer, and I'm just going to use an e.l.f. complexion brush for this. And for my blush, I am going to take my NYX Dusty Rose Blush and I'm going to use a clean e.l.f. brush. And I'm just going to dab that right on top of where we put that contour. And then I'm just going to lightly blend those together. And next I'm going to take my Hard Candy Honeymoon Blush and I'm going to use that same e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm going to put this right on top of that NYX blush that we just put on. just to add a little bit of shimmer. Next, I'm gonna take my Physician's Formula in Happy Booster, and I am just going to lightly dust this all over my face with a clean e.l.f. brush, just to give myself a little bit more bronze and a little bit more glow. And for my lipstick, I am going to take a NYX Pumpkin Pie. And then I'm going to use NYX Lip Gloss in Cosmo. Alright everybody, this is the finished look. This is a very dewy spring look and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm definitely playing with color with some purples on there, but you still have that soft, beautiful nude lip, which is perfect for spring. I hope you guys like this look and if you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and check out my blog for more pictures of the haul video that I did a few weeks ago and more in-depth details on this look. Thanks to you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!